Hello! In this video, I review my new EDC sling bag and do the live random draw to determine the winner of the subscriber giveaway announced in my last video. But if you are just here because you entered the giveaway and want to see the winner announcement and you're not interested at all in the sling review, feel free to skip to this timestamp right now. Welcome to Get It Together, and if you're new here, this channel is just me trying to figure out how to get my life together and sharing the tips and lessons I learned along the way. In my last video, I shared my current 2021 EDC kit. You know, the everyday carry items I bring with me every single day. I'll link that video right up here. But in it, I announced a subscriber giveaway where I will ship the winner both of my most recent Kickstarter projects, the Spec DNT, a naturally antimicrobial copper key attachment to help navigate frequently touched public surfaces, and Queen P, an anodized billet machined aircraft grade aluminum chess pawn promotion queen that doubles as a fidget toy and small secret container. And if you saw that video, you'll know that I've been using the Peak Design 3 liter camera sling bag for the past few years, and although I love it and will absolutely keep it and still use it when I'm traveling or walking with my camera, most days it's just so much bulkier than I need it to be. My front runner, and also recommended by a few folks in the comments, was the Bellroy Mini Sling. I love the way the Bellroy looks and was so close to pulling the trigger until I happened to chance on this Tom Talk one. At half the cost of the Bellroy and made out of Cordura for better abrasion resistance, I decided to give it a shot, and so here we are. Shipped from Amazon, it came in this plastic Ziploc style bag, and by the way, if you personally are interested in checking it out for yourself, I've linked it in the description below. As you can see, at first inspection, it's considerably more compact than the Peak Design's overall footprint. It's got three hang tags, one's about TomTalk, one's prominently displaying that it's using the world's best YKK zippers, and the last is a reminder that it's using Cordura Ballistic Nylon. The bag itself has three separate zipper compartments. The front pocket is a single-sided zip at two-thirds height. And I gotta say, when I feel this bottom two-thirds section, there's definitely a very thick liner layer here, which adds significantly more impact resistance to whatever's in there, which leads me to believe it's the perfect spot to put your phone. This front pocket has its main area and two inner pockets split right down the middle, with the right inner pocket sporting this red integrated key clip lanyard, which I personally have never used these types of things in any bags I've owned. I've always just tossed my keys in there loose, and I don't plan on changing that habit, but it's still nice to know that this option is available. The main compartment has dual zip entry and is divided in two right down the middle lengthwise, with the front compartment being the more spacious of the two. That lengthwise divider itself has two inner pockets stitched onto it. And the rear pocket, similarly to the front pocket, is a single-sided zip opener at two-thirds height as well. With no additional inner pockets, it's completely hidden and recessed from view when worn, and so it's a great place for your wallet or passport as it's right up against your body and hidden from view. Rounding out the physical attributes, heading to the exterior, each side sports a very robust and confidence-inspiring anchor loop. And when I say confidence-inspiring, I mean these things basically feel like seatbelts. I don't know what I'd ever anchor here, but just to show you a potential use case, as you may remember from my last video, I'm a huge fan of S-Beaners by Night Eyes. And this number four size, which can support a stagnant whopping 75 pounds or 35 kilos, is the perfect size to slip onto here. So I can see myself being kind of out and about, buying something and anchoring the shot shopping bag here to free up my hands completely. The zipper pulls also inspire a lot of confidence. They feel like some sort of rubber neoprene fabric composite and as you can see feature some really overkill stitch work and are definitely not going anywhere. Combined with the YKK zippers, these are really smooth and easy to open and close. The main strap is reinforced stitched to the body and like the side anchors feels like a freaking seat belt. It's got a traditional plastic buckle, as run of the mill as it gets. As far as branding goes, it's pretty minimal. There's a heat transferred TomTalk logo right on the front and a stitched Cordura tag on the back. This sling measures approximately 12 inches across, six inches tall, and just shy of three inches deep. And the TomTalk marketing material prominently features it very comfortably fitting a Nintendo Switch. So that's a good point of reference for size. Let's weigh it. It clocks in at 236 grams or 8.3 ounces, and to give you a rough comparison, my Leatherman Charge TTI weighs more than this bag at 250 grams. Now, when making a buying decision, it's really about whether or not it'll fit with your specific needs, and I went into depth in my last video, but as a quick summary, my primary EDC looks like this. My apartment keys and spec DNT, my car keys and through night flashlight, my iPhone SE and AirPods Pros, this Herschel Charlie wallet, 
the Benchmade M4 Bailout, my Traveler's Company notebook, two Lamy fountain pens, the Queen P that I use mainly as a fidget toy and also stash an extra Lamy ink cartridge inside, and my daily beater watch, the Seiko SKX007. Now, most of this stuff is typically in my pockets, with my primary requirement from any sling being able to fit my notebook and pens, since I don't have any pants with pockets big enough to fit the Traveler's Company notebook. Again, if you saw my last video revealing my current everyday carry kit, that Peak Design sling typically only houses this notebook and my Queen P and my earbuds. But my secondary requirement is that my sling can fit everything in my EDC if, say, I'm just going for a walk and I'm wearing really light and loose basketball shorts and don't want anything in my pockets clinging around. So with that requirement, I of course did a full capacity fit, and as you can see, notebook and pens in the main compartment, along with my Queen P. My AirPods in one of the split pockets of the main compartment, and my knife in the other. My wallet in the rear compartment along with my car keys, and the front more protective compartment to house my phone, and in the two inner pockets of the main compartment, one for my apartment keys, and the other for my watch. For me, personally, this TomTalk Urban Minimalist EDC sling bag comfortably stores everything I would ever carry on me in a normal day. But it's not to say I think it's perfect. I have three main things I'd love to see in a version 2 of this sling. The first is a strap buckle. I'd love to see a slimmer profile, perhaps even a neodymium magnetic clasp, to really give it an even cleaner look and robust quality feel. These traditional bulky buckles just don't do it for me anymore. Second, I'd love to see more color options. If you've seen how I got rid of 90% of my clothes and refined a wardrobe that works well for me, so I don't even have to think about anything when I get dressed, with the confidence that every hat I own matches with every top I own, matches with every pair of bottoms I own, which all match with every pair of shoes I own, I would have loved if this was available in a navy, grey, or olive green option. Not a big deal, but just would have been nice. By the way, I'll link that wardrobe minimizing video right up here, in case you yourself are interested. Lastly, I'm not the biggest fan of the TomTalk logo over here. I'm happy it's not super loud, like if it was red or something. It's nice and black and kind of blends in, but I just would have preferred without it. Clearly, none of these three things are deal breakers for me. It's much better for me for daily use over the Peak Design sling I had been using for a few years. I mean, it can comfortably hold everything I'd ever carry with me on a regular day. If you're interested in researching it for yourself, I've linked this TomTalk EDC sling in the description below. But now, let's just dive right into the draw for the winner of the subscriber giveaway. It's 11.59pm Toronto time as you can see on the top right corner of my screen, so I'll first write a comment. Entries are now closed, thanks to everyone who entered the contest by fulfilling all three requirements blah blah blah, post, and pin. Okay, like all previous subscriber giveaways I've done on this channel, it's followed the same process. I create a spreadsheet go to the comments section, and sort the comments by newest first. I then scroll to the very bottom and add every qualifying commenter's username and order from first qualifying comment to the last in the spreadsheet. I'll speed this up in editing. Now, as the entry instructions clearly stated in the previous video, a qualifying comment is one that shares at least one item in your everyday carry. Okay, here's the full list. I'll leave this on screen, so if you entered, you can pause the video to see that your YouTube username is indeed on the list. And if you think you entered but don't see your YouTube username, it's because unfortunately your comment did not meet the very clearly shared requirements in the previous entry rules video. So as usual, I use random.org to do the most anticlimactic draws ever. <laughs> I'll go back to the spreadsheet to tell random.org's number picker the parameters. Since the first row is the column header, minimum number is 2. And maximum number, go back to the spreadsheet to double check, is 33. Okay, 33. And like I said, this is pretty anticlimactic, but here we go. I'll click generate, and 22. Let's hop back to the spreadsheet and find row 22, and hey, congrats, YouTube username Sean Thomas. I've replied to your original comment, so please reply with your Instagram username as a reply there, and I'll send you a private message on Instagram to coordinate shipping. By the way, if you enjoyed this video, I think you'll really really get a kick out of this video right over here. And if you got some value, please consider hitting that like button, and if you got lots of value, do hit subscribe, because I'll be putting out a lot more videos just like this one. But as usual, thanks so much for kicking it with me, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.